and said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and wilt do that which is right in his sight, and wilt give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. There shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in the land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. Why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. God be merciful unto us, and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us. Selah, that thy way may be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. He brought them forth also with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble person among their tribes. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Blessed is every one that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands, happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. He healeth the broken in heart, and bindeth up their wounds. Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel, and marrow to thy bones. My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings, let them not depart from thine eyes, keep them in the midst of thine heart for they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. There is that speaketh like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is health. A wicked messenger falleth into mischief, but a faithful ambassador is health. A sound heart is the life of the flesh, but envy the rottenness of the bones. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and health to the bones. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. I create the fruit of the lips, peace, peace to him that is afar off, and to him that is near, saith the Lord, and I will heal him. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee, the glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. Because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. When the even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word, and healed all that were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Ezias the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities, and bare our sicknesses. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his Spirit that dwelleth in you. Likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us 
with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with the oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray for one another, that ye may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth.